area of the park where they have tents and chuck wagons. That's cool. So they got cowboys and Indians over here. So the, the tents are air conditioned. There are no restrooms inside the, the tents and the Indian tents. We are here at Williams and we are having lunch here at 66 Diner. The food is excellent here. This is our second time here. And um, I'll take pictures of the food. Okay, I am having hash browns with eggs and Walter is having, what is Walter having? Denver omelet, uh, hash browns, yeah. English muffin. So we're working out. Point view, five minute walk. And it's up Okay, that means 15 minutes for me. Okay, here we are at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, we've been here before, actually, maybe a dozen or so times now. So, this is nothing new to us. Most of the rim drive is actually closed. So we can't do the rim, but since we were here 30 years ago, back in 1990, we did do the Bright Angel Trail. Now it's not the way you think that we did the Bright Angel Trail, and to talk about it is Walter. February 1990, Ariel decided to book a mule ride on the Bright Angel Trail to the uh, slope that we stop at and then come back on the same day. And so we got up early in the morning and we got ready to go and we had all of our stuff and our water and our, our hats and everything. And we show up and they decide which mules we're going to sit on. And uh, my mule was named Molly. Ariel's mule was named Peso. It's in indelible on my brain because of the traumatic day that it really was. The ice on the trail in February was probably about six inches. They were warning people not to even think about walking on the trail no matter what kind of shoes they had. The only thing that was stable on a trail would be a mule. So as we proceed on our mules down the trail, all of the mules are walking on the defined path except mine. Molly liked to walk just about one step to the right of every other mule, which is one step closer to falling into the canyon. Liked that fresh ice and crunch, 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 as all the other mules just stayed right on the firm ice on the trail. So I have one foot hanging off into the canyon. Ariel is on the mule right behind me, just watching and laughing the whole time because I'm not really good with heights. So we get down to the plateau, we have our lunch, and then of course on the way back, it's the same thing. Uh, my mule has to be one step on the edge of the canyon uh, because they keep the mules on the canyon side. That way if there are any hikers, uh, we're not pushing them into the canyon as the mules are going up or down. So it was a traumatic day. One of those uh, first experiences where I knew Ariel was uh, probably going to keep my life interesting and at risk on many occasions. But 30 years later, we're back here, safe and secure in the middle of summer. No ice, no snow, and the trail's even closed, so even better. Having fun. Thank you. Bars are all new because before there were just rocks along the edge and kids used to just run by them and every time a kid would just jump over the rocks I was hoping a kid would fall and trip and fall down the rim but it never happened I don't think it ever happened or maybe it did happen so they put these barriers up <laughs> 